After the break, we look at the situation today as Spurs visit Chelsea, a tense local derby. Are the police in control, or do hooligans still exist in the capital? British Transport Police oversee the traffic of football fans through London's tube networks on Saturday afternoons. They monitor potential flashpoints and today Spurs are visiting Chelsea, an intense London derby. While Millwall were playing at Ipswich, this could throw up problems when they head home to the capital. In terms of disorder in clubs and in and around grounds, it's, it's largely, there are exceptions to this, but it's largely a thing of the past. Fairly good order is kept at most grounds at most times. If they're going to have a meet, they will try and fight away from the ground. And one of the reasons they'll try to fight away from the ground is because if they can divorce it from a football-related incident, then it's harder for us to ping a football banning order on them. But it's becoming increasingly more difficult because the, you know, the, the fans are using um, uh, internet technology to, to, to stay in touch, using, using phones to stay in touch, and, and, and to arrange these fights and to arrange this disorder. Police spotters track Chelsea and Spurs fans after the game and hardcore Spurs have been spotted in central London. We've seen uh, some of the Tottenham people that we know moving around on the railway system and we've trawled around the, the pubs and, and found a group. That group have now disappeared and so we're, we're looking to find them again. It's possible that they've gone home, it's possible that there won't be any problems but we just need to make sure. Then news comes through of problems involving Millwall fans on the train home from Ipswich. Well, we're just deploying some officers out onto the platform so we can meet them in and if the officers who are currently on there wish to make the arrests, we're there to provide support and make sure that um, everything stays at a suitable level of sensibility. Three arrests were made for racial aggravated public disorder. They're going to take them into custody now and if they're found guilty they'll be banned from taking part in any, attending any football matches for a significant length of time. In essence, they've just ruined the World Cup. <laughs>